Hey everyone, and welcome back to our first time playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last part, we got to Vermilion City, and in this part we are going to continue through uh, exploring Vermilion City. And we're starting by talking to this Officer Jenny right here, who just so happens to have a Squirtle that she is going to ask us to look after, because as with other NPCs uh, for Bulbasaur and Charmander, we also get a free Squirtle as a present. Uh, just like in Pokemon Yellow version, which is, you know, reflective of the anime. So, this is how you get the three starter Pokemon as gifts in case you don't catch them in the wild. I don't believe Squirtle is actually readily available to catch in the wild yet. So, this is actually the first time you can get it. I could be wrong. I'll put a, known, a note on screen if that's true. But, um, regardless, yeah, so we're going to be getting Squirtle right here. If you want to go ahead and uh, continue on with the text boxes now. So... You want to take care of that Squirtle? There you go. Now you have Squirtle. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this is Squirtle. This is the water type starter Pokemon. Uh, the counterpart to Bulbasaur and Charmander. Shoots water at prey while in the water. Uh, withdraws into its shell when in danger, just like most turtles do. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. <laughs> You're having fun. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, so I guess we should go into the Pokemon Center first thing, just so you can heal up. This guy's asking you to trade a Geodude for a Geodude, so I would go ahead and trade whichever Geodude you really don't want. And of course, there's something special about this Geodude. It's an Alolan! It is! Have you caught on what the uh, the theme is with each Pokemon Center in the game? No. All right. Well, maybe you get you'll... to trade one. You get a Pokemon. Every Pokemon Center in the game, starting with Cerulean City, maybe not every single one. There, there's a couple more that you don't. But most of the Pokemon Centers in the game, uh, starting with Cerulean, cheeks. starting with Cerulean City. You can trade a Pokemon for an Alolan form Pokemon. So this is how you get the Alolan form of Geodude right here. What was the last one we got? Rattata. In Cerulean. What color was it? Black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how you can get Alolan Geodude in this game. Uh, do you want to <gasps> use Alolan Geodude on your team? The only downside is you can't trade to evolve it, but... If you don't want to use it, it's no big deal. No. Okay. So this is this fisherman's uh, house right here. So these people, I guess, are all interested in fishing, it looks like. You have a better chance of catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not a guaranteed catch, of course. We know that by Pokemon Go. Yeah, of course we do. When a ring's color is green, it's easy. Yellow is a bit harder. Red, it's super hard. Yeah, that's absolutely 100% true. And she says, I fed in a nab berry to a wild Pokemon, and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. So she's just saying what nab berries do. I did not mean to warp out. Well, it's like... Chico. It's like even so much as a subtle shake is enough to like just get your character. Only player one can do it. Player Or player two can do it. Player one, it activates this. So, yeah, so I have to be like careful with shaking the Joy-Con because if I do shake it too much, then for whatever reason, I just warp out. Um, let's go over right first. Let's go over here. Fascinating. Yeah, this is meant to be a port town because you're like right next to the water. So, and this is also in pretty much every instance of, uh, of Pokemon. This is an area where this dude has his Machop. He owns the land and the Machop is stomping the ground so that he can eventually build a building. Although, spoiler alert, even in, uh, jo in the Johto games where, um, you know, you get to see this area, I, there's still nothing built here. It's still an empty plot of land. So this dude spends three years stomping the ground and he never does anything with it. That's all it is. It's just 
a little side distraction thing. Mm. It's so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from ocean sludge. Not sweat, I guess. Fascinating. Gross. I could want a whole lot well, more that. The more you know. No thanks. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. What's wrong? Why okay, so. There's two NPCs in here we can talk to, and then obviously the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this guy's actually referencing Team Rocket, who we've, we encountered in Mount Moon with those Why? couple of grunts. So you? And also, we just, I'm just gonna point this out, uh, if something happens or is, there's a random cut in the recording, there's a possibility we might lose power. Yep, it's currently downpouring outside, even though it wasn't raining at all, like, three seconds ago. Almost. And now it's thunderstorming, and you can hear it. That literally came out of nowhere. Yeah, it did. Sheikah's not happy. But we're gonna keep going. If you hear any booming, that's thunder. Kind of fitting, considering we're in Vermilion. Um, <laughs> that guy, I believe, actually will trade you. Puppy Pokemon Growlithe, or Scratch Cat Pokemon Meowth. Do you want a Meowth? Because you already caught a Growlithe. Oh yeah, I was already gonna get a Meowth anyways. If you catch five Growlithe, he will give you a Meowth. So the thing is, is I believe Meowth is a Let's Go Eevee exclusive Pokemon, but you are able to get one if you catch five Growlithe and give it to him there. Okay. I believe. I could be wrong. This guy is the far-fetched guy. <clears throat> him and his partner Ducks are going to go catch a Spearow soon. Yeah, so this is a reference to the original games, where in the original games, you actually traded a Spearow for this Farfetch'd, and this was the only place you could get Farfetch'd in the entire game. Really? The only Farfetch'd you could get is a trade, and a lot of people don't like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because <sighs> I believe, for starters, it, you were always stuck with the nickname Chiding. That's what it was called. Chiding. And you couldn't change it, because it's a traded Pokemon. One interesting thing of note, though, regarding traded Pokemon is they actually gain more experience than a regular Pokemon. You get an experience boost when you're using a traded Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, so, did you come to visit? Did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Absolutely. This guy, also in the original games, this is the Rapidash guy. You see, my favorite Rapidash is the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart. It's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you stop to look at it, don't you think so? Oh yes, it looks so, so stunning and its heart is so kind. You can't help but love it. And when you hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Plus, it looks spectacular, of course. Oh, and it's simply ravishing when... Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. In the original games, he gives you the bike voucher so that you can get a bicycle. But this game does not have bicycles, so you cannot use it. He did, however, give you new clothes. So you can customize your character now. If you go to the clothing trunk right there... You want to press A. The A button. There you go. <laughs> you forget where the A button was for a second there? No. So now you can wear Pikachu hat and a Pikachu shirt. Yeah, and you have Pikachu of everything. So you have Pikachu shorts, Pikachu shoes. You can wear whichever you want, but you know, this is where you really start to actually get clothing in the game because now you're gonna. There's gonna be a few other outfits you get uh, coming up here, and you'll be able to customize your character a lot more by the time we're several more gyms into the game. So. Yeah, and then of course you can customize your Pikachu, but you can only give him the jacket and hat right now because you can't give Pikachu the Pikachu clothing. Obviously, in the Eevee edition, you get the Eevee clothing instead, but yeah. I want you to look at his Pikachu's adorable tail. Yours is better. Yours is shaped like a heart. And there you go. Did you talk to the other NPCs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just loves her seal. Yeah, I think we talked to them. Okay, so yeah, that's what you get if you come to the fan club in Let's Go Pikachu edition. Uh, I think we've almost done everything there is to see in Vermilion. Uh, you can talk to this guy with his Magikarp. Carp, carp, carp. 
Some Pokemon jo ju don't just want to walk with you. Some would rather give their trainer a ride. I can speak, I swear. So this guy is referencing Pokemon that you're capable of riding in the game. Um, but we obviously don't have any of those yet, so nothing you can do. Yo, champ in making. Beyond this point is the Vermilion Gym. But you'll need to chop down that tree first, cause I can't get out. Please, I've been trapped here for weeks. My family, I miss them, I'm starving. All of us are suffering, we need out. We can't swim. We've been trapped here. There's someone threatening us with these oil drums. There's nothing we can do. You're really talkative this part. Cause I have no idea what to say to you. And let's see, she wish she yeah, she wish she could take a trip across aboard bleh, I can't even fucking speak. I wish I could kick that. Why? I fucking hate Nidorans. What what is wrong with Nidorans? They're stupid. <laughs> They're just dumb. Stupid. You have amazing reasoning <gasps> behind you. Aww. Oh, you got a heart scale. Heart scales are a useful item that we can't use yet, but we will be able to use later on. That is actually a really useful item. So you got oh, lucky that you got one of those. Did it do that because I shook it on accident? <clears throat> I think so. I just shook on accident. Oh, and I guess I'm wearing your clothes now. Okay. Copycat. Uh, yeah, so we can either go down or right, whichever you want to do. I guess we're going... Oh, we're going over to this bush. Or flowers, I guess. That's not a bush. What did I find? Found... Flowers. Oh, okay. Thanks, Caterpie. You're not gonna see it now? It was just looking at the flowers. That's all it was. It found something. Yeah, it was just looking at the flowers. Oh. This is Route 11. This is one of my favorite root songs in the game. Not my favorite. So shouldn't we go back to the SSN? You can do either one. It doesn't really matter. Or you can go in this cave right here. You have you have a lot of options in what you can do next. Um, but it's really up to you. If you want to do the SSN first, we can. Um, this guy right here is going to be like, yo, this is a luxury cruise ship. Yeah, so we got these tickets from Bill a few parts ago, and now we're going to be going ahead and hopping aboard. So, you flashed your ticket to the man. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us, so... And now you've been given the sailor set. You just got more clothes. Oh, that's me. I'm swearing dealer. Taylor the Swearing Sailor. Yep, so you can change your outfit and give yourself some uh, sailor clothing. So the Pikachu outfit isn't going to last very long at all <laughs> in this playthrough, I guess. Um, but yeah, and you actually, uh, I believe you also got stuff from for Pikachu to wear as well. I just wish it didn't have like the same... Yeah, it's really just a reskin of the hats. Uh, the hat and clothing. You're not putting any of it on? No. Oh. Okay. You don't even want to put, give Pikachu a sailor hat? No. Okay. I wish I could give stuff to Caterpie. I'd give everything to Caterpie. Of course you would. I'd give my life to Caterpie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'd give... I'd give you up for Caterpie. I'm sure you would. I would. I believe that. I would give you a nice, nice box on the side of the road just for Caterpie. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. It's Skeddy. I know. That fucking Skeddy. Oh, shit. Who's that? The clearly superior rival character, that's him. Yeah, it's, it's you and then blue. If it isn't Taylor and Skeddy, it's me. I'm blue. A freaking badass and a way better rival character. 
Not you know, hardly. I got invited to the exclusive part. I got plenty of party favors too. Here, I can even share one with you. Thanks, Blue, for the Shaller Sable. That is a reference to an item you get in Generation 6, the X and Y games. You wanna know what I overheard at the party? What did you overhear, Blue? You guys know about Team Rocket? Of course we do. They're the bad guys. I've battled them before. Seriously, you must be fearless or something, kid. Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. You might do some digging into what it is there, and you two better stay out of their path. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep going, I said. I'm just going to give up trying to read what I can, and I'm just going to immediately cut to whatever you press <laughs> A on, because I can't do this anymore. I'm trying to read it, but you're just like, nope, nope, I don't want to <laughs> hear it, so. I read faster than you speak. Okay. Okay.